Outdoor world of Castaway Coolers. As you can see, we're literally on top of the mountain. We're going to be heading Stone Chief in the Yukon. We're up high, got to be a little quiet because sound really travels. I know you're going to enjoy today's show as much as we're going to enjoy bringing it to you. See that green rock? Just study everything from that green rock all the way up. up. Okay. Why does that green rock just work your way up just slow? He's right above there, he's standing there, you can see him good. God, no wonder they're hard to get, huh? Ooh. Okay, there I see him, yeah. I don't see the other one though yet. Um, boy, that's got to be what? Two miles? Three miles? Man, and they're way up there, boy, in that snow. Wow. So you saw them moving, that's how you caught them, huh? Yeah. Got to talk about blending into the, that's why they're so safe. Wow. Okay. And it takes getting in shape before you get up here, which is hard to do. You see our horses back there look like little specks. We're almost on top. Gotta keep pushing.
So it was a really tough climb we tried. I mean, there were two really nice sheep there. The one we saw was smaller, so I didn't really want to shoot. So I kept hoping that that other one would still come out, which it never did. And when the, the sheep did give me a shot, it was, which we checked on the rangefinder later, 456 yards, which is a long shot. If it had been the big ram and had been the only shot, I might have taken it, but I didn't shoot. And so the ram still should be here. They just moseyed over. They didn't get spooked out of the country. You shoot, they're history. So they weren't spooked out of the country. If I had a shot and missed, then they definitely would have been gone and we'd had nothing. So. It was worth not shooting. If you don't have a good shot, don't take it. So now we're back down, actually on the back side. Now what we're gonna to do today is try to go around to the other side and hope that where that one sheep went, to the other side there, and just eased over there, where we're, that's where we're going now, and now we're gonna check those. And the guy went up to the top, this little knoll here, and he's gonna see if he could see back into the bluffs, because sheep always are looking down. They have a complete vision of everything. Also, the wind currents are coming up, so, Anything down below, they're alerted to. Come up over the top. It's a lot of work, as you can see on that other sheet, but hopefully today our plan will work. There he goes. There he goes. Oh. <laughs> oh. Still can't stop. Jeez, oh man, what a climb. Hit him when he was running down there. Hit him on a running shot. I had a good shot there. I don't know what happened. Uh oh, he's, is he trying to get up? No, he's kicking. He's kicking. He's on his back. I have a shot right here. I can't hit him. The sucker's running at 400 yards and I hit him. <laughs> when that second shot, I thought, oh no, not again. Not after yes, the other day. Three shots running and no chance. In, the, in our last chance, the third time. Oh goodness, I worked, it worked, it worked. Oh, I don't believe it. I still won't believe it till I'm there.
That wolf was right behind us. Oh my gosh, look at this. Finally. Oh. Oh man. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. Oh boy. Oh. Look at that. Oh. What a prize. Woo. Oh man, is that beautiful. Gee. Oh, are they a lot of work. Unbelievable amount of work. Oh. Oh man, I can't believe it. Hey, buddy. Hey. <laughs> oh, did we work for this one. Boy, did you flare way out. Well, that's pretty good, huh? Yeah, well, we got a caribou yesterday and a sheep today. Two days, two after, trophies. After 10 days of <laughs> giving her. Of working and working and working. Yeah. Three stalks, and we had to go up the highest mountain there was. This was the least of them, but we got yeah. baby. Thank you very, very you much. you one tough dude. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. I had, I had the push to do it. Yeah. And it I took can it. see you're getting played out. <laughs> yeah, I was beat. Crawling. But still cruising. But we had to do it. I mean, I put a lot, a lot of time in, in waiting for this moment. <coughs> yeah. And now it's done. Boy, that's great. Well, all the work, five, six weeks before I got up here, every day get up for an hour and a half, walk what hills I could at home to try to get in shape, climb Mount Empress and seemed after one Jeep, it got away. Made another big climb, it got away. The third one was a charm, but it was really a project. But I'll tell you, there was a reason I missed that, that other ram earlier in the week. It was all white, and this is the color I really wanted to have. And this, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna hunt any more stone sheep. I mean, you gotta really be in shape and getting older. Guy was amazed I could even do what I did, but when you have the drive, you can accomplish things. So maybe there's a reason that I didn't get that sheep and got this one instead. If you want a great hunt, you want a nice stone sheep, think about going hunting with Teslin Outfitters. Call the number on the screen and you'll enjoy it as much as I did. <laughs>